do a great impression of a hot dog. Good afternoon, Chiefs. I'm Stefan Jean, and today is Thursday, April 8th, 2021. With many of you in the midst of FSA testing, many of your teachers have put together some helpful hints to make sure you're equipped and ready for the FSAs. Let's take a look. Good morning, Chiefs. I'm Ms. Machuela, and I'm here with your FSA writing tip of the day. Um, this tip is just to help you get started because half the battle is just getting your first sentence down, right? I've seen so many students just sit there and they blank out and they're like, uh... So half the battle is just getting that first sentence down. So if you get stuck, remember definition or discuss. So find the simplest idea in that prompt and find a way to define it or discuss it, all right? Once you've gotten that first sentence down, don't forget to transition into your tag sentence where you tag your sources and you give your thesis. Then remember, you can always go back and change anything you need to. Um, you can make it sound better later. It's just half the battle is getting started. So a quick example for you here, is if we have this prompt, it says paying student athletes to pay college sports such as basketball and football has gained coverage in sports news. You've been asked by your school newspaper staff to write an informational article explaining the advantages and disadvantages of paying college student athletes. So something like a definition, we can take that idea of college student athletes and explain what that means. So it would sound something like this. College student athletes are full-time students that play sports for the university without being paid or receiving any benefits. Another option that I like to teach my students is change over time. So it's a way of discussing the idea in the prompt. So change over time just means how the idea has changed over time or how it has developed over time. So an example for this would be over the last few years, the idea of paying stu college student athletes has become a well-known topic of discussion in the sports world. So these are two different strategies you can use to start out your essay. Don't panic, just take a breather. You're gonna be fine, okay? Just get the first sentence down and that's half the battle is just getting started. So good luck, see you later. Thanks, Ms. Machuela, for that awesome tip. Okay, Chiefs, this week is National Assistant Principals Week. Join us in honoring the enormous contributions of assistant principals to student success. This year, our celebration takes on even greater significance as we recognize all that assistant principals have conquered amid the pandemic and consider what their ever-expanding and evolving role might look like moving forward. Through it all, America's assistant principals have demonstrated unwavering leadership, becoming a source of strength and inspiration for us all. We thank you for all your hard work and dedication. South Florida Virtual College Leadership Fair will be held on May 1st at 9 a.m. This fair is the opportunity to learn about the senior ROTC programs in colleges in South Florida. This year, one of Santa Lucia's JROTC seniors was awarded a four-year ROTC scholarship. This event will be held on air meet for students, parents, and educators in Palm Beach, Broward, and Miami-Dade counties. There will be representatives from universities and colleges in the three county area. Once registered, an e-ticket will be sent for the event. If you have any questions, please email your guidance counselors. Well, Chiefs, it's that time again. What time you ask? Time to apply for next year's SGA. Why SGA, you say? Because student government offers students excellent ways to get involved in the inner workings of their school, both in high school and even in college. Students who participate in their student governments are privy to a range of personal and professional benefits, and they can be exposed to a variety of opportunities in school and beyond. The SGA application for next school year is open. Please email Ms. Machuela for the link to the application or check your guidance Google Classroom. Some other teachers of yours may have added the link to their Google Classroom as well. Please read all instructions carefully before beginning the application process. It is due on April 16th. For quicker access to the application, go ahead and scan the QR code on the screen. Go ahead, I'll wait. Good luck, everybody.
If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to email Ms. Machuela. Well, Chiefs, that's all we have for you today. I'm Stefan Jean. Have an amazing day, Chiefs.